within a calculated field, we can use any Excel functions like a sum, an if, an all, an and, or an average, as an example, as long as they don't reference external cells. Now let's create an if statement. Click in our pivot table and go to options and field items and sets and calculate a field. Now in the name, we're going to change that. So what we want to see are rebates given if our sales are more than 700,000. So if our sales are more than 700,000, then we're going to give a rebate of 3%. So the name will be rebates given. And the formula will get rid of the zero. Now we start typing in the if statement, just like we would in our Excel workbook. Now one thing in here is when you're typing in an Excel function, you don't get the helper. So you gotta make sure that you know what each step within a function needs to be. So within an if function, the first step is our argument. So if sales are more than 700,000, then we have to give a 3% rebate on sales. So it'll be sales times 3%. If not, then zero rebate. Close brackets and press OK. So you can see there we have our rebates given for anything over 700,000. Anything less than 700,000 is zero. Now just make a note that we have to get rid of the subtotals and the grand totals because what's happening is that when you're doing a calculated field, that it's also calculating each subtotal. Now, this is not correct because our subtotal for January is 23,000. That's the only rebate that was given. But here we're getting 81,000. So make a note that when you're doing calculated fields and you have an if statement where you can get zero values, then you gotta make sure that the subtotal is turned off, okay? So to do that, we just go into the design, subtotals, do not show subtotals, and then grand totals, off for rows and columns. One final step is to rename our rebates given in our values area. From the drop down arrow, choose a value for settings. And because we want to distinguish a calculated field, then we just put in there an asterisk and then press OK. So we have our rebates given. So it's that easy to create a calculated field with an Excel function.